All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quick, quickly diagnose if uh, you have a plugged up catalytic converter on your vehicle. Usually you would use like a, like a vacuum gauge uh, or you know, pressure gauge on it and put it in one of your O2 sensors and you know, look up at the specs, but I don't have that. I don't have time to order one. And uh, my truck uh, recently, it seems like it's suffering getting up hills which usually it's one of two things. One, it, it could be fuel related, two, it could be plugged up exhaust. Uh, but it idles fine, no check engine lights, nothing like that. And I'll tell you, usually catalytic converters don't really go by themselves, they usually last for a while, but my truck does have 300,000 miles on the original cuts, and the cuts were rattling like crazy for a while, and then the rattle stopped. And then 50 miles after the rattle stopped, at 70 miles an hour, guess what? I lost some power. I could barely make it uphill at 55. So that means there is some sort of restriction. So uh, this is how you test it quick and dirty uh, if you don't have uh, the, the gauge uh, to put in. So all you need is oxygen sensor socket, uh, OBD2 reader preferably because uh, you know once you're gonna take oxygen sensor off uh, it's gonna throw a check engine light and a few zip ties. All right, let me show you what we're doing. Yes, once you get nice and cozy under your vehicle, I like to have beach towels, by the way. Especially on the gravel, you know, makes you uh, makes you a little bit in less pain. I'm going for the passenger side because it's super easy to disconnect. Because uh, the driver side over there, I actually had to replace uh, the O2 sensor there, and it's kind of pain in the rear just because uh, that uh, there's a transmission in the way of the connector. So over here, the connector is on this side, so it's just gonna disconnect it. So uh, the one. Uh, bunk that we need to disconnect is the 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 one that uh, goes before your catalytic converter just so it opens up the uh, opens up the flow and see if it fixes the problem so we're gonna disconnect it and unplug it uh, let's see if i can do it while having the camera in my hand uh, now this thing is so okay. the way it works on the chevy is see the little little nipper just you know tickle it the hair this way and then push it out and then that should kind of kind of free up your o2 sensor wiring and now we just have to feed it through on the other side once you have the wire off you just gotta throw your socket on there and man it usually especially if it's a factory one most likely there was anti-seize used on it so it should come right off Ooh. Here's our O2 out, and now we have literally huge exhaust leak, and that's that's exactly what we need. We need this hole before the cat, so it frees up the engine back pressure, and we can see how it does. So now, we're just gonna, I mean, you can just lay it on the frame if you wanted to. I'm just gonna zip tie this real quick to this wire loom, just so it don't go too far. Again, we're only gonna go around the block for a second there. So I don't want to lose it. I mean, you can even leave it unplugged. It's going to throw error code anyway. And some people will tell you, oh, you shouldn't do that because that's going to throw the ECM into, you know, uh, like closed loop or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, you can still feel it. If the hesitation there, hesitation there. If the hesitation's gone, hesitation's gone. So, I'm going to take it for a quick drive. Start up and remember, you will get check engine, so don't worry. And that's going to sound a lot gnarlier. But... You gotta do what you gotta do. Let's turn on AC. Yeah, see the miles on the truck. So it's acceptable for cat to go out at that type of mileage. It sounds like a tractor right now. I'm surprised check engine haven't came up yet. I figured it'd come up by now. Alright, let's see. 
I'm gonna go around real quick and then go up uphill and see see how it does uphill. All right, well, we definitely got our power back. So yeah, plugged up cat is the word, unfortunately. <laughs> it sounds like complete but right now. All right guys, so that's how you test quick and dirty to see if you have plugged up cat. And surprisingly, still no check engine light. Magnificent. This is a piece of engineering. I mean, it threw a P0300 code after 80 miles of driving with plugged up exhaust. I'm just saying. Unlike my Mercedes, that you you, you look, to look at it wrong, it will throw a check engine light on you. Just saying. Hi right, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Please hit like if you like the video. Hit dislike if you don't like the video. And then have a good day. Almost forgot. Please support your local animal shelters. Right, Bear Bear? Right, Laddie.